Hi, this is Mark from L&M Small Engine. Today we're going to be working on a 1975 5 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine on a old heavy front tine tiller on an old cast iron steel and you know these were a heck of a tiller. Well they still are a good tiller and they still run. But anyways on this one here there's no spark and this is like I said a 1975 engine and it has the old points and condenser in it so we'll put a new set of points and condenser in there but they you have other options for this kind of stuff now too you know you can put a modern modern coil on it with electronic condition built in it they don't even have to deal with the points then they even got this Megafire ignition 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 module. It's just right here. You know, you just put them there and set the points, and you have a nice, nice bright spark. You know, point points are nice and all, but and if you live in a humid climate, they tend to corrode a lot faster and easier. But what we'll do is we'll just take it apart and put a new set of points in there. So let's get started on this. Take this screen off here. It's just a quarter inch. But yeah, I think there ain't no stickers left on this tiller. It looks like an old monkey ward or old JC Penny. But it's really, for as old as it is, it's in really good shape. It must have been in the shed when they're not using it. Even the tines are already wore down. And I, we're going to put a new starter clutch on this too. This starter clutch. A lot of wobble in it. So we're going we're gonna to put a new starter clutch in this. But they have... They have um, special wrenches you can buy to take this off. I'll show you a simple, easy way to take these off. You don't need to spend a ton of money on one of them tools. But that's just if you have one of these old motors. They're a doggone good motor, the old five horsepower brakes. Well, make sure yeah, just get a chill, have a chisel. Make sure it's a dull one. You don't want a sharp one because all you're gonna do is chop these tabs right off. And if you have a dull chisel, just go ahead and turn it. Do the other side. So I did it a few times until it breaks loose. Grab another chisel. We'll pop that fly a little off. Okay, when you take the flywheel off, there's a cover behind the flywheel that has a points condenser in it. Make sure you don't damage that. I'll show that to you when we take it off, but just put a little pressure on this side and a little pressure on this side. You don't need much because with them starter cuts on there, it's not like a bolt where you can torque it down. 
And there's only so much pressure that goes on there, so these actually aren't on there very tight. So. Go ahead and pry that in there. Uh, we'll do it on the other side here. There we go. It don't take much on these. Here's that cover I was talking about. You don't want to damage that cover. Because right here, that's where the condenser sits. And the points are over here. And you got your flywheel key here. Don't lose that. So let's go ahead and pop this cover off. We need a quarter inch nut driver for that. And there you go. Okay, now when you, when you look at it here, oh, grab a pair of pliers and we'll see what that gap is on the points there. Looks like about 20, 25, somewhere in there. So, These wires here. Okay. Come on, Dallas. Good to get a sound in the camera, but you can kind of see there. A little bit corroded and burnt right in the center. So, there we go. Let's. I always check this plunger here. There's that plunger that goes in there that rides on the crank. That's it, goes up and down. If that's wore out, or if you see a bunch of oil dripping here, you have to replace this. Because if it's leaking oil, it's going to get the points oil on them and it quit firing on you so if that plunger thing I call it a plunger if that is in bad shape go and replace it put this stuff down get everything mixed up here's our our new points and condenser right there okay Let's hook up the condenser. Some of them come with this like little tool. That you put on here and you squeeze the spring down so you, so you get. Tension on them.
there's a little little indent there I have a parallel with that hole so when you squeeze it you can get them wires in there let's get these wires straight for starters Make sure no kinks and stuff in them. It's a lot easier. Try to trim them up so they're even too. So they're both the same length. Just like that. So get this tool put on here So they both come out the other side just a little bit. Get that put back in there. I don't know if you want to say them or not. Usually a new set of points and condensers set have that little plastic piece. Anyway. We won't sub this down this. Get it so we can we can do some adjusting. Okay, now on this side over here we got the spring. Goes in this hole here. Goes in the big hole and out the little hole. And have it seal your points. And try not touching the points. If you get a little oil film on there, it might cause it not to spark. So we got that there. I'll go ahead and put this on. It's like a little indentation where it goes in. Tight. Put on that little pin sticking out there. Okay, and we'll make sure that plunger's all the way down so we can gap it.
Some people have different theories on this. A lot of the Briggs books say 30. Some say 26. I prefer 25. That's just my opinion. But, you know, you can go by what the books say. Just put that in there and just push that up till it's snug. Tighten that down. So make sure you got everything tight. We'll go and reinstall this cover. Okay, we're gonna put a new firewall key in there. I see like a little, there's like a little crease in on that. You want a nice smooth <coughs> firewall key. So, bring that up to there. Okay, we got the new flywheel key. Now, before we put the new starter clutch and everything on, on this shaft here, we're gonna get a piece of emery cloth and take all the burn spots off of it. Any perfect imperfections that was rubbing on there tight because if these ever stick, it will spin your recoil and it'll ruin your ruin your pulley on your recoil. It will break the spring. Just clean that up. And never ever put grease on these or oil. What you can put on there is like a WD-40. When you put grease oil in there, the ball bearings will get stuck up in the cavities and they won't come back down. So it will engage. So let's go ahead and stick this on here. Line up the holes there. Put our new flywheel key in there. Put our wash on there. It's kind of tapered. Have it so the cone shape is like out. So when you tighten it, it's almost like a lock nut in a way. Grab our new starter clutch. <coughs> Got put on there. Then when we tighten this, don't use these two small ones, use these big thick ones. Like I said, they make a special tool for this, but if you uh, change points on engine pie, do it once or twice in its lifetime. I just don't see buying one of them tools to do it. Just take turns, just do one and do the other one. Okay, what you, what you can put in there's like a little piece of felt at the tip there. A little WD-40, it works fine. You stick it in there. It'll keep that little felt in there lubricated. You can hear them ball bearings 
catching. If you put oil or grease in there, when you do that, all them bear ball bearings will stay up in their cavities and this will spin freely and you'll never engage it to spin to spin the motor. I'll show you another little secret here how we can test this and make sure there's spark before we put it all back together again. A little, a little trade secret here. I'll grab the tools and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, I'm going to take these two screws out here and put the screen back on. There's little holes in that screen where the screws go in. Okay, instead of bolting the cover on, and everything, you know, in order to check the spark before you go that way, if you uh, get a 6.1516 socket, it slides right on here, and make sure your spark plug is grounded to metal. So just watch. Watch the spark plug here. See that? See that nice pretty spark it has there? So now it's working good now. So now we can put the spark plug in and put the cover on. But anyways, that's how you that's how you change points in one of these. So now they can get their garden ready and grow some vegetables. I hope that helped you. Anyways, thanks for watching it. Enjoy all the other videos I have on YouTube. Anyways, have a good afternoon. Thanks. Bye. Hi, this is Mark from LM Small Engine. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks.